if you've got a heavy kayak like I do, or if you're old and feeble like I am, then you definitely know the struggle when it comes to moving these behemoths around and loading and unloading them off the top of your car. So stick around, I might have a solution for you. Hey, what's going on everyone? And welcome to the Kolbyak Fishing Channel. If it's your first time here and you're into like fishing and kayaking or camping or looking at some mystery tackle boxes when I do unboxings, then this is the place for you. So please consider subscribing. It's also really dark in the garage, so don't judge me by this like scary campfire story lighting that we got going on right now. I love kayak fishing. I love the simplicity of it. I love using a kayak. I love being able to take it almost anywhere. And I love the ease of use of it because you can just kind of get in and float. You don't have to worry about gas. You don't have to worry about any of those things. Now, I know there are some people out there that like to put motors and pedals and all that kind of stuff on their kayaks. Me personally, I'm just not one of them. Now just because owning a kayak is pretty simple, doesn't mean it's always easy. Two problems that I run into with owning a heavy kayak like this is moving it around and loading and unloading it. So with these two problems of moving and unloading the kayak, I gotta find a solution that's going to solve both of these problems. A cart, that's only gonna help me move the kayak a little bit easier. Um, a trailer, too expensive, and it also you know, doesn't really assist when moving the kayak. What if you can't drive the trailer where you're going to be fishing at? So I think I've got a solution that's gonna help me solve both of those problems, being able to move it around different terrain and also being able to load the kayak on top of my SUV roof rack. So what is the solution to the problem? Well, it is DIY. Now, what does DIY mean? Well, to everybody else, it means do it yourself. But for me, it means something a little different and I had to write it down. It is do it yourself with random stuff that you have around the house, but really you end up spending more money, time and effort making it instead of buying something and your project never turns out the way that you plan, but I do it anyway because of the satisfaction I get from building things myself. That's what DIY means to me. All right, so what did I DIY? Well, drum roll please. A PVC kayak car. Uh, are, you, are you surprised or shocked or not at all because that's what the thumbnail and the title was, is a DIY kayak cart. But I also know what you're thinking. This has been done a thousand times. There's hundreds of videos about it on the YouTube and the internet and all kinds of ways of building a DIY kayak cart from anything from PVC to metal to two by fours and other types of wood and all kinds of things. However, this is only solving one problem and that's moving the kayak. But I got two problems. I'm having a hard time loading and unloading my kayak. So how is this weird contraption going to solve that second problem as well? Well, I wanna show you that. But first, let me just show you how I kind of put everything together really quickly. So basically here's everything that you're gonna need. I think I started with about 10 feet of PVC, got some end caps and T splitters. Had some collars here that I used to hold the wheels in place on this 24 inch stainless steel axle. I also used some pipe clamps to be able to undo the PVC fittings. Got my wheels make sure they got the ball bearing on the inside of them as well. Some glue, so that way we can glue everything up and make sure it's nice and tight. A hammer to knock everything in place when we need it. Something to measure with and something to mark on the PVC. So that way we can cut it up. Now, of course I messed up and got primer instead of glue, but I figured it out and it was time to glue everything together now I pre-fit everything just to make sure it all fit in place and uh, it came together pretty nicely. Got the axle put in on the bottom portion and now it's time to make sure the kayak will actually fit on top of it. So we put the kayak on top, made sure it fit nicely in the wells of the keel on the underside of the kayak and then we cam strapped the cart to the kayak just to make sure that it was nice and snug so when we picked it up it wasn't going to go anywhere now off to the fishing spot well just down the sidewalk in my neighborhood because we're just kind of testing things out outside of the garage here 
I wonder what it looks like on my neighbor's security cam. They probably wonder all the crazy things that I'm doing out here, but whatever. It rolled pretty nicely. All right, so honestly, that was the first time that I've actually tested the card out. I've noticed a couple things. Uh, it moves pretty good, uh, but one problem is I think it might be a little too high because I've noticed it started rocking back and forth. I think that might have to do with my strap uh, situation. All right, so the kayak can move around pretty well on the cart, but how does it solve the other problem of loading and unloading the kayak? So my biggest issue is I have this spare tire. Now you would think, oh, the tire should be easy for you to kind of get it up on top of and then be able to slide it up, but it's a problem. I don't know if y'all are good with your shapes or not, but tires are circular. And what happens when I put the nose on the kayak up here, if it shifts one way or the other, the thing just slides completely off and I actually damaged a kayak doing that in the past. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just position the cart into place and then I'm just gonna wedge it down into the side of the car behind the spare tire and on the front with these two little spots right here. Can you see me through there? And I mean, that is locked in pr place pretty good, but we're gonna take a couple of straps and actually strap the cart down and around the spare tire as well. So the moment we've all been waiting for to see if this will actually work, this is actually my first time trying it, so you're about to see it all unfold if it's a complete disaster or a success. So we got the kayak just kind of lined up, kind of cattywampus to the side. I've got the back end in line with the back of the car and with the top of the roof rack to be able to kind of lift it up and slide it on. So let's see if it'll work. All right, lift it up. Oh, it's heavy. All right, moment of truth. Feels pretty solid. Oh yeah. Looks like it's uh, staying up there pretty good though. Might have shifted just a little to the side, but that was pretty easy. Now my driveway is on kind of a little uh, incline, so it makes it just a little difficult getting it on and off, but I felt like it worked pretty well. Might have came up just a touch, but all in all, that wasn't terrible, was it? So let's see how the unloading process works. Lean in a little bit, just line it up. flipped it and dropped it, but the other wheel actually caught it and is holding it, which is good. And just lift it off. And boom. Just like that. Whew. I'm still out of breath. I think it worked pretty well. If you have any suggestions, and you think you can maybe modify this in a way that would work a little bit better for me, or if you end up making something that works a lot better, please let me know in the comments. I would be greatly appreciative. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give the old thumbs up. And if you wanna see how I store my kayaks in my garage, then make sure you click on this video. It's getting a ton of traction, so it might be something that might help you out in the future. So until next time, keep those lines tight.